Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do normal distribution on this particular Casio FX8200 AU calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off with the classic normal distribution where the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. What we're going to do is we're going to switch on the calculator, go into the home menu, and we're going to go down to distribution and click on EXE. Now we're going to do normal distribution. So we're going to go down to normal CD, which is the cumulative distribution that we want. We're going to press equals. Now here, our lower limit is equal to zero. So we're going to put lower limit, we're just going to leave it as zero. Upper limit is 1.1. Mean is zero. Then our standard deviation is one. And if you go down to the bottom there, we should be able to click on EXE which should give us what the probability is. So the probability in this case is going to be 0 0.3643. Now looking at the second question there, the second question we've got between, well, for Z greater than 1.4. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. Now our lower limit is going to be 1.4. But our upper limit is going to be a very large number. Now, generally speaking, five should cover it when you're working with zero and one. But when you're working with real values, I always like to do one times 10 to the power of 10, just to kind of make that a very large number there. And we're gonna keep our mean zero and standard deviation one. So mean is zero, standard deviation is one. Okay, I guess it doesn't calculate until you go to the execute button there. So we're going to click execute and we've got a probability of 0 0.0808. And finally, the last question there where we've got Z less than negative 0.7. So we're going to go back. Our lower limit is now going to be negative 1 times 10 to the power of 10. And our upper limit is going to be negative 0 0.7. And our mean is 0, standard deviation is 1 and we're going to click on execute. And so for this, we have a probability of 0 0.24192. So I'm just going to go 0 0.2420. Now I know that with normal distribution, it is generally good practice to have four decimal places for your probabilities. And folks, that's pretty much how you do normal distribution on this particular Casio FX8200 AU calculator.